About two months since the arrival of the first group of, of evacuees from Libya to Rwanda, the evacuees are now working to integrate, integrate with the local community. Although the majority of the group says they feel welcome and are keen to begin their transition, some of the evacuees are still holding on to their vision of a prosperous life in New Europe. Flowers and grass stalks make the room festive. They set the stage for the ceremony that will take place here later today. It is a celebration to mark the baptism of a little baby boy. Babies are reason to celebrate under normal circumstances, but this one is even more special. He was born to refugee parents in Libya, and now he and his parents have arrived at the United Nations Emergency Transit Center in Gashora, Rwanda, on their way to a new life. 306 refugees call this camp home. 24-year-old Simon left home in Eritrea for Libya in 2017, seeking safe passage to the better life he believed awaited him in Europe. My family, my father and my dad, they spent their whole uh, years, their whole time in order to serve me, uh, you know, a good future. They, they sent me to a good school, uh, they gave me whatever I want until I was a, a teenager. So it's time for me to give back to my family. We thought Libya was uh, a place for us just to cross the sea. But he didn't make it to Europe. He, like thousands of refugees and asylum seekers, was detained in Libya after being rescued or intercepted at sea by the Libyan Coast Guard. After an agreement with the African Union, Rwanda agreed to temporarily take in at least 500 of these immigrants who mainly come from Eritrea, Ethiopia, Somalia and Sudan. When they told us that we are going to be evacuated from Libya, the first thing that we we done is we raise our hand to God and we thank him. It was like we, we were born again and again, so we were so happy. The United Nations Refugee Agency provides the migrants with housing and food. They're also learning the local languages so that they can integrate with the local community and their children can get an education. The community is actually good, really. They can respect us, even we respect them. Uh, we live in a good, we interact with them in a good way. They haven't been here long, but these refugees have found a semblance of normalcy in this camp. They have formed relationships and found routines. And though they are still waiting to be settled, here they have found community. Authorities say the evacuated refugees can return to their homeland, be sent to a third country, or stay in Rwanda. Some of the evacuees, however, still dream of starting a beautiful new life overseas. I'm waiting to reach to Europe, maybe to a place where I can uh, repay my family's debt. I have a lot of debts. When I reach Europe, I will work hard, I will get uh, what I was thinking, and I hope they will be still alive until I repay them. But now they dream in safety, and every day they remember the over 4,500 immigrants the United Nations Refugee Agency says are still detained in Libya. And when they find a reason to celebrate, they do. Every little freedom, every celebration has been hard won, and they believe there's more to come yet. Wilkisanyabo, CGTN, Gashora, Rwanda.